morning your majesties welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel um i have a video for you guys today and you know king father did tell me this last month when this happened um oh by the way uh the colors of the week is white and blue so that's why i'm wearing the blue eyeshadow and a white shirt okay so have you guys ever heard of the 28 girls that were hospitalized due to using an Ouija board? Um, yeah. Uh, now, I've been told multiple times not to mess with an Ouija board. And, and after hearing this, it made me to never ever want to use one again in the future. So... Um, I won't be playing with a new Ouija board, but um, for that, I wanted to give you guys um, a, uh, four stories about an Ouija board. So you guys will be hearing scary Ouija board stories all week this week, okay? So um, this one is called, okay, so the first one is called The Open Circle, okay? When Vince, now 30, I'm 30, <laughs> um, was a child, one of his friends goaded him into playing with an Ouija board in his basement. Young Vince didn't expect anything out of the ordinary to happen, so he went along with it. Once they started to play, however, the lights began to flicker. The air around them grew cold and the spirit began to communicate with them through the board. The spirit spelled out a Russian name and claimed, and claimed he had been murdered. Um, we took a break to make some pizza rolls, Vince says, but we forgot to close the circle when we were done. Oh no, don't do that. If you're new to a Ouija board stories, that's a giant no-no. After returning to the basement, the energy was much heavier and books and things were sprawled out on the floor. And yet the board remained perfectly still in the center of the room, just how they left it. Upon looking at a mirror, that we had nearby, the eye of the Ouija board was moving sporadically in its reflection. <sighs> yeah. Um, you guys, don't be messing with the Ouija boards, okay? Please, you guys, please. I know it sounds fun. I know it sounds intriguing and it, I know it sounds exciting but don't be doing that because something bad could truly happen you know especially hearing about the 28 girls that were hospitalized for playing with the Ouija board because um they were hospitalized because they were like fainting and having really really bad anxiety so if if an Ouija board is that powerful and could hospitalize you and um, affect you medically to where you need to go have medical attention do not play with an Ouija board don't do that um, I finally it finally opened my eyes um, because I always thought it was a bunch of bull crap and stuff like that but now I get it now I understand how dangerous it could be so um, I don't mind telling you guys scary stories but I will not be playing with an Ouija board on the channel anytime soon. I never planned on it, but excuse me, I keep spitting. Um, but um, but yeah, I won't ever, I won't, I never plan on playing with an Ouija board on my channel because I just know things could potentially, could potentially go south in seconds and I can go from zero to a hundred in seconds too. So um, yeah, don't be playing with an Ouija board, you guys. Um, uh, but anywho, 
Um, that's going to be it for today's video. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart and the song lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.